on the frequency that we're trying to get on, okay? Now, let's go on. Uh, number one, the reason why I want you to get to the point to understand that ye are gods, which is in your Bible, with your holy Kabbalah, which is the precursor of the actual, where the Kabbalistic writers put together your Bible, where then you look in the Bible, the same signs that you look at is telling you these stories, is actually telling you the stories on how to lift yourself up to God. It's right in your Bible, if you study. Get the metaphysical dictionary Bible and all that stuff. Well, you uh, get the Holy Kabbalah, which actually explains, explains this particular stuff that's going on. The reason why they say that, do you know that there is something beyond God? Let's deal with this. There is something beyond God. Now, let me break down this thing on what it is. Okay. The God is the Father of Earth that Jesus speaks of. He is the creator God or the creator God of all ancient mythology and legend. He, he is this God, this Father, that incarnate on the star Sirius, which the Holy Quran bears witness. But there are gods beyond him of a magnitude beyond comprehension. The scope of nature, the world, cannot even begin to comprehend that would make the Father God incarnated on Sirius look like a grain of sand. There's such things as parallel universes. And once you go on and make it serious, you go on to other realms and other gateways to other universes. And there's a God beyond that God. He's just the God of your solar system. Let me break this down. Which is in your Holy Quran, I get it. He created both male and female from one single ejaculated semen. Get the silver of the star. Where, where my car is? I see that. Oh, oh, you got the car. Okay, that's the sister that's with me. Okay, as long as you got the hand of her, that's the driver. Now, uh, What's happening is, let's break down this little bit of science for some of you who don't know. Our Earth goes around the sun every 365 days. Our sun goes around a greater sun every 26,000 years. 25 to 26,000 years. You know, I'm going to talk about 25,000 years period. At the end of that 25,000 years, when our sun completes that cycle, you have what is called a great year. Or the Earth takes on a birthday. And what it was when it first was formed, the original form, it comes back to that. Since you were the original people that seeded the planet, you have a birthday too. As a bus solo, as an as a you are the same as the earth. You have a birthday too, so you rise up and you get your sense back. You understand what I'm saying? Now, that, every 26,000 years, the earth has a birthday. It's called a great year or the end of an eon, which the Hebrews tell you is the end of the world. It's the end of the eon. It's the end of the world of those who are ruling. Okay? We're going to get into that in a few minutes. Now, that particular greater sun that it goes around is Sirius, which your actual calendar, the Sophic calendar, comes from. You understand? Which all of your gods that they talk about in religion, their witness is Sirius, which is the god that incarnates from that, because that Sirius star is nothing but a soul of that god. Remember I broke that down? Those star stars are souls? Okay, so don't think it's some scientific thing like why they say it's a star, they ain't got to do with God. It's God. It's just what you are seeing is the reflection. Of, of God in the brightest star in our solar system or in our part of the solar system, which is serious. Okay? Our sun is nothing but a reflection of a greater sun. Just like the moon reflects the light of the sun, our sun, if you go outside of the atmosphere, is black. You don't see the sun. I always speak with mama. I ask my mama, I say, look, why is it seen to me because you get the ton of light energy? But when you go outside of the actual uh, uh, Atmosphere is blue black, you can't see your head, but the bigger suns, like Betelgeuse and I think it's Sirius and other suns, bigger suns. You don't even see our sun, our sun is black. But when you're up under what you what is called electromagnetic force field, which is your atmosphere, it that black sun hits the electromagnetic force field and such since you being up under the electromagnetic force field, what you are actually seeing is the reflection of that because it makes that light up. Outside of that, you don't see it. But what's actually light up is the reflection of a greater sun series. You see, the earth is the sun, the black sun is outside of the father, and then you have the holy spirit. You see, that particular greater sun, the sun behind the sun is what they call it. I want to break that down. Now, they said there's something greater than God. That means when you come in God, it shouldn't be a great task if there's something greater than God. <laughs> Well, let's drop all this signs from what I mean. In the Arabic term, it's called Leola, or Layla. Let me give, give you the right spell. 
The right spelling is L-A-Y-H-A-H. -H. It's called Layla or Layola or Layla. Layla. Which means the triple blackness of space. Which is the goddess of the universe is the womb. Which her reflection is the first star that cut itself open at the star at the south gate and revealed itself as the first star of eight stars, Sirius, which is nothing but a reflection of the great mother. That's why they say heaven is nothing but a veil before the great goddess. This is what Mel Tepney told me, which said also with the heavenly sister, that there's something even beyond us. That Laola is the triple blackness of space. Now let me, let me, let me read something for you. Uh, anybody all right? Let me, let me read something for you. It says, I have lived millions of, many of years, and I have traveled all over the land and under the dominion of the sun. I have sailed from sea to sea and from pole to pole. This is a guy that understands the science that's actually telling you what science is. He says, now I lift up my voice and testify that all on earth is vanity, which means it's, <laughs> it's, it's small. Accept the love of a good woman. That good woman is Leola, a Layla. The womb, the triple blackness of space, which the black woman is the direct microcosm of that macrocosm, God in person. As well as you are too, because remember now, inside of you, this is the role you play inside of you is spirit, which is all one spirit, which is both duality, masculine, and feminine. You understand? Which we're talking about. But you are the playing that role of the triple god goddess of space, or the triple blackness of space, which is the black woman, which is a good woman. I testify that in heaven all is vanity. He said, even in heaven all is vanity. God is small. And I have journeyed off, sojourned off to every heaven. He said, he's been all over the universe in the spiritual form, if you're a major adept. Except the love of Our Lady Babylon. Babylon is not necessarily, Babylon is what you hear in the Bible is also an esoteric term, which means the, the, the sacral vertebrae, which the, which the God is set at the base of the spine and rises up to the, to the north of the temple to Christ. That's called the beast of Babylon also in esoteric terms, which is also the beast of Babylon, also the Babylon they talk about is the triple blackness of space, is another word for it. And I testify beyond heaven and earth is the love of Our Lady Newt, N-U-T, N-U-I-T, which means the triple blackness of space, okay? Which is the same through the universe darkness. And seeing that I am old and stricken in years, and my natural forces fail, therefore I do rise up, up in my throne, or uh, on my throne, and call upon the end. I am youth eternal, and force infinite means he's gonna make you cut. He's gonna turn into that star. And the end is she. That is Layla and Babylon and Nu, which means Layla. He means he will not get to the star. The triple blackness of the space is the actual ultimate manifestation, which is called nothing. And from the nothing you get the absolute, where you can get all of this to come over again, which is nothing but the melody, which you have the power to create like you did in the beginning which is the mystery of melody. Okay, let's go on. Okay. We have the god Awas. Now, who is Awas? Awas is the god that came to Alistair Crawley. He is nothing but the blue-black god Soot, or Adani, as you say, or uh, uh, the blue-black god Soot of Kemet, which is the first primordial god who you have for Ta, Osar, and those that take their dominion after, after he falls. His star representation is Sirius. Now, he, he's the one that cut his mother open in the south gate and revealed himself. That particular god, Awas, which is also Melchizedek of Megatron, which is forms of the same god who that you call angels now. He revealed this book of law and gave the time continuum to the OTO and all them in 1904. Now, let's, let's, let's deal with this. Uh, I want to read something to you to show you what he is. It says, now this man, Alex Crawley, is getting another, he's getting another experience with this black angel called Awas that came to him. 
which has a current, and the current is on the planet now. That's what they say. This current is here now. It's a melanin current. This melanin angel and this melanin current, this current is Awas, who was this black angel, where he said, the blackness gathers so thick and so thick, so, so thick and so clinging, so penetrating, so oppressive that all things that are uh, in other blackness that I have ever seen and conceived would look like a bright light to it. And then, the boy from Awas came, which is a black man now, just like you and I, the ascendant, and said, he comes with the whisper, with the whisper, oh God, art the master of the 50 gates of understanding. Is not my mother a black woman? He's telling the white boy this. White boy playing with me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is not my mother a black woman? You see, okay? Oh thou art the master of the pentagram, the master of the star Sirius. He's over that, Melchizedek, Obatala, the same person. Is not the egg of spirit, I'm talking about the egg of spirit, where spirit comes from. The, the egg of spirit is in you, the black dot, the Bindu seed, in the Maduna Oblongata. Is not the egg of spirit a black egg? You see? They're breaking down the mysteries of melody. Talking about God. He abided the terror and being arch of the soul and lo, even who, even who am the soul like the spark, shut up, stand up. The sign of Aphosis and Typhon. That Typhon is the blue black God set that he's talking about, not the second set who is the beast, who is depicted as red and timid. I am the snake that devoureth the spirit of man which lust of light. Now he's saying, I am the, sick, the sightless storm of night, wrapped the world about the dissolution. Chaos is my name, the thick blackness. Now know that the darkness of the earth is ruddy, but the dark of air is great. But the darkness of the soul is the blackest. They're talking about the mysteries of melody. Melody is also called chaos. Chaos is what creates. You see in, in, in Kemet they say that, 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 that Ra rose up from the primordial waters of noon or the primordial waters of chaos. In that is chaos. In the triple black holes in space is the same stuff that's in you which is chaos. You understand? It's the chaos and it is the devil of the white boy. Not your devil. Now if the white boy will give you everything bad. Don't you know that the religion he gonna give you after he changes it around gonna be bad too? Whereas his devil gonna be your God. You see, his devil ancient Satan comes from also is the, is the astrological counterpart of Saturn. Saturn, if you go to Saturn, Saturn used to be the original home of this earth before it fell, where you have the fallen sons of Seth or the fallen Elohims. In that incubator is Saturn, and the same makeup of Saturn is the truth. Is the same makeup of Saturn is the same makeup as melanin. The number 418 is the makeup of melanin. Okay? Once the earth accelerates back into Saturn, in order to live on it, you've got to have the makeup of what is in that particular spirit and what the earth is originally made of, and that is melanin. So therefore, this is the earth and the universe taking care of itself. And you've got to have the good juice to live on the planet, which you have. This is why they're doing the chaos of plan thing now. Not to kill you, it's to put you in concentration camps to extract the melanin through mass experiments like they did with the European Jews in their small holocaust in Germany. Well, they're going to do the same thing, but it's going to be a melanin experiment to try to get that out of you. Well, hopefully, if everything go right, we can have them off the planet before they can even get to that point. But God knows, you don't want no 10 years around you with this piece. He done made it up. It's either him or you, and it's going to be him. He's going to try to get the melanin because he has a synthetic melanin, but it don't work. It doesn't contain memory, and it doesn't contain anything. That's why the body of, of Ramesses, they can take that body, and they did test on it. Go into the actual skin, which is preserved. That's why they used to mummify those bodies. Pull the melanin out of that skin, and once they pull the melanin out of that skin, it has memory, and they can find the whole memory bank of that person's life, and because he knows more knowledge than himself, they can find out even past history. That's why they used to preserve those bodies in Kenneth. And that melanin is there, and it gives memory. The melanin is a cosmic computer. So this is what they can do with the mummified body. So the synthetic melanin, it might be worn off some part of the sun, but it don't do good because now it's not working. 
So now they say we gotta get concentrated melanin. And we got 40 to 60 million niggas running around. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. Let's get it out of the King Alpha plan. For those of you who don't know what the King Alpha plan is, it's a document to put you in concentration camp, put out by federal emergency management at FEMA. FEMA, who give you the blankets and all of that in the, in the hurricanes and storms and stuff. They come out and give you the food stamps. Also, they also call a national emergency also when you rise up and take your planet back. So they got this particular thing called FEMA where they put your concentration camp, which is the only way with the five, with the almost 10 or 15 army bases they done closed down and all these prisons they building up. Okay? Now that's what's going on. They need this stuff. But even when this angel came to Alex Crawley, he said that I, Alex Crawley said he taught, he seemed to be a tall black man of an of a African king. And he was an angel I had seen in dreams. And he is a great angel of the God of Holy Kemet and Summer. And he is the head of the Sirius star system. His name is Awash, which is also male company. We talk about black. We talk about the God being black. Okay? Now, there's some white boys, and we get ready. I tell you, I'm going to do this. Hey, brother, I'm going to do this. This last thing, we're going to take a little break. You want to take a break now? Yeah, we're going to take a little break. Okay, we're going to go do this. We're going to take a little break. And then, and then we're going to get to rolling on the last couple of things. Uh, oh, you, want, you want to go on a little further? Before we take a break, or you want to take a break? Huh? Okay, I'm going to go. We're going to take a break in a few, but I'm going to cut it off in a few more. I'm going to give you a little more, and we're going to take a break. Uh, there's a white boy in Chicago that's up on these planes because he said he had reincarnated. He was a black man before, but he reincarnated again to help these mutants out, to get them on higher planes. Nobody ever coming to us. The only person came to us is saying that the black man is God, and you, you know, which is honorable life of Muhammad and, and stuff, because we don't need it. We don't need the melody. We just need to wake up. We already God. But they want to put them and make souls for them so they can lift them up on high things. Because whatever comes back down on the spiritual level, they're going to kill out all of y'all on cancer. It's mutation. And the white man being a mutation is nothing but a form of cancer. So he's getting killed out by still cancer. The cancer getting cancer. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> now, the actual mutants, I want to get this for you. There's a guy by the, in Chicago that says that he gets ready to go to war and one of his missions one of his missions is to, to uh, actually transform this mutant by killing it. He says, he says, uh, uh, mutants of a Pluto, Pluto, Pluto power mutation. The total charge is a total change from the early humanoid. He's saying whatever this is that's on the earth that this mutation is. Diabolic is a dialectical opposite of what was created here at the beginning. It says in the human, uh, uh, the earlier humanoid things, these mutants must be locked down into a system of yoga. Yoga is the Kali Yuga, which is the cycle that he's talking about. He's talking about an actual magical system where he's going to kill them, which, which is called Zafrian metaphysiology. They must connect their souls with the powers of yoga by understanding the psychic mutation means of Yugopian physiochronologically, chronologically, whatever. And the group souls of you got in mutant force fields. Now he's talking some high science here. You see, this is a white boy talking. This is a white boy now. You know you don't believe what we got. This is a white boy. They can be sacredly talked and they can sacredly take membership in the hierarchy of the chaos sphere. Now see right there, he's saying the hierarchy up here. Which is the triple, which is the black right of the white right brotherhood, which meaning the Christ light, is the chaos sphere, which meaning black melanin, which is that chaos. They put chaos there, not to tell you about melanin. So let's say the hierarchy of the melanin sphere. Whereby the most demonic and violent, uh, and violent energies, he's saying that the white boy inside his soul has the most demonic and violent energies, are released and transformed. Uh, for the transformation of this planet. He's saying in order for this planet to lift up, we got to get that chaos, not me, not that, that, that demonic and violent, beastly, natured person off the planet so this planet can transform. It means, it is by means of the ritual initiation of the system, of uh, this system that he's going to take them through. In the reconstruction 
who come to understand, who would come to understand that of the people of the UFO. In a way, he's saying that the whole UFO activity, which we've already been witness, is made to rechannel that energy, that negative energy in their nature based on them not having the chaos or the melanin to balance them off. The reason why you crazy is because you, your, you, your mind messed up, <laughs> not your, your nature. You understand? Something happened to you. Well, what happened to him? He's always been this way. And so they're saying that they got to rechannel that energy, just that, that energy, and, and, and rechannel it into a positive current where you got to balance it off. Because there's positive and negative in us, but they got to balance that positive current into something else. Okay? So this is what he's talking about. He's saying that the people of the, the spaceships and the UFOs are here to do just that. That's why they got 19,000 of them coming in, there, coming in every month. Aliens. Uh, and they're abducting something like 30,000 white people per month that they just don't tell you about. You see, everything is coming down on this man's system. And we'd be stupid to get caught up in the actual, the actual, his karma, what's been meant for him. Okay? Now, let's go on to some things. Uh, Elijah, um, we got this, uh, the brother, the brother named Solomon that bears witness to this. It's a new brother, also, who is a, was a part of the nation of Islam. Also, the Archangel Melchizedek, so don't get mad at me for telling you this. I'm telling you what the Archangel Melchizedek said. That bears witness through some science that the sister introduced me to of a five-year-old boy in Brooklyn, I think, in New York, that looked like Elijah, sounded like Elijah, and got the knowledge of Elijah, or the honorable Elijah Muhammad. He's supposed to have reincarnated back into this particular person. The Archangel Mel Pesnick told me, which helped with the system, told me to my face before Christmas that he is back on the planet. The new guy named Solomon is standing up. They say he was taught by Master Farah Muhammad and the 24 scientists in saying the same thing and had to create a new body for him. Now this is it. In the book, the people with a secret of the Sufi Muslims, they got a prophecy and they got a thing that said Elijah keeps the Elijah, they call him, keeps reincarnating when, when times are bad, you see. So, remember also, we got what is called two levels that we are on. I'll get into that in a few minutes. You exist here, but you exist on another plane. Your higher nature or your higher mind exists on another plane. And you are, you are ancient gods of that plane. And you got to reconnect your mind to the higher self, the higher soul which is called your holy God and angel, which you are on other planes. This is the kind of science that's going down. Now, brother called me today and said, well, I want you to check out the number 12, because there were 12 stars on Arnold Elijah Muhammad's uh, hat, or his kufi, or his, his, his crown, right? Number one, you said that 12 was the root of 144,000. It's multiplied what? How many times you? Huh? Right. It's multiplied times 12, right? It's 144,000. Don't ask me about no math and stuff. I was an art major in college. <laughs> All I know is I got 10 toes and 10 fingers and that's the end of that. <laughs> I'll make up in brilliance and other levels. Now, you know, I don't know how, and I, that's right. Come to my algebra test, I cheated like hell to get out of school. <laughs> I'm in college now. You know, that's the black man education. They ain't got us nowhere, nowhere but food. We got the real knowledge here now, so I, Come on. All right. The root of 144,000 is 12. Multiply 12 times, which is 144,000, which we know in the Bible, 144,000 people will survive. You heard that whole thing. I'm going to get into the 144,000 in a few minutes because I got some other science on that. Twelve is the number of Mercury. Eight is also the number of Mercury. We're going to do some, some, some science here on some numbers because every number is infinite. Eight is also the number of Tahuti, Enoch, and Elijah, which the planetary representation is Mercury and also Sirius. So now Enoch, Tahuti, Elijah, and John the Baptist that reincarnate is none other than Honorable Elijah Muhammad, whose number is eight. It symbolized the bow tie when he 
had that infinite number eight, which 12 crowns on his head. You actually look at a God that was before you that you thought had a third grade education and you didn't give no, 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 no type of a, um, with no, no validity to it. You understand? You know, the white man validates your scholars for you and your gods for you because he God to you. So now, Honorable Elijah Muhammad said he was the messenger of Allah. To Hudi, whose number is 8 and 12, said he was the messenger of Ra. You see how these gods come amongst you? They are ancient gods. Da, which in your holy tree of life, and I should have had a tree of life of the holy Kabbalah. I'm going to show you a picture of the tree of life. You have a tree of life, and Lord, I should have brought something. I always should bring me a tree of life, but I think I got one here. Da, which is in the sphere of the tree of life. Oh, yeah, I got one. Let me get, get you a picture of the tree of life. It's for some of you that don't know how it looks. The tree of life is a, is a, is a tree, uh, and what it is, oh yeah, I got one right here, thank God, oh Lord. This is the tree of life. Put it in the camera so we can see this thing. Now the tree of life is this actual symbol. This is what your Bible comes from. This is the esoteric part of your Bible, and it's the esoteric part of all the religions because this came off of the walls and temples of ancient Kemet. So where your Bible come from? In this is the breakdown of the universe and the breakdown of the body. Right here you got the sun, the, you got the earth, you got the moon, you got the sun, and you got the sun behind the sun, Kemper. You got another sun that's right in this area. You got Saturn, Jupiter, and all the other planets. Right in here you got a sphere that is called Dot. D-A-A-T-H, which is a black sphere of melanin, which is Outside of the universe of the tree of life, this is behind the tree of life, so it's in another solar system, it's, it's Sirius. This part here is the part of the crown chakra, which is represented as Sirius too, called Keva. It's also called Melchizedek, Metatron, Medura Atan, and, and, and Heru, or Osiris. Heru being another, the reincarnation of, of Osiris, break down the same. This dog here is, Sirius is behind it, but it is a sphere of melanin. That's why in the movies, Star Wars, they give you the enemy, their enemy, white people's enemy, and call him Darth Vader. That's your God. He wears all black. He comes from the Death Star. Serious, this is the Death Star or the Cracker. Dig? Okay. Darth is known as Thoth or Tahuti and Pu or Anubis, which is the black dog with gold ears or the jackal, also Ezekiel, which is the number eight, which is also represented as Elijah. Put this thing, you go back and study it. Now, let's read some stuff on Elijah, on Elijah Muhammad, with the bow tie symbolizing the eight and the 12 stars on his hat. Go back and study the man. Let's look at this. It says, uh, Soot. Soot is the blue-black god of Sirius that I talked about earlier that cut his mom up in the city in the south end revealed itself as the sun behind the sun. Was the announcer, Sut was the announcer of the goddess of the seven stars. As one who came, who came annually. The rising of Sirius comes every 20, every July 23rd, where you have the start, the rise, the Sirius would rise and the now that it would flood over. And that's how they used to get irrigation, because there's no rain some parts in Kevin, ever. So they in denial the flow because that star Sirius would rise up here on July 23rd. This was called an African New Year, not, not with everything dead in downtown January. It was in the summertime, and it was called Dog Day, the Dog Star. That's where they get it from, Sirius. The hill horizon of Sirius, or the hill horizon of the Nile. So it says that Sut was the announcer of the goddess of seven stars who rose annually. Tahuti who superseded him, so Tahuti is nothing but a later form of Sirius in the planet of Mercury. Tahuti who superseded him as the messenger, remember the messenger of Allah, the messenger of Ra, as the messenger, the voice of the Logos of the seven stars, as the manifestation, manifesto of the Paloma, the completer of the Agad, whatever that means, he was the Lord of the number eight. The eight of seven. You got seven stars in the Pleiades, and you got number eight, which is also Sirius. Sirius has an astronomical kind of part, which is the planets, which is Mercury. Okay, the eight of seven stars, the Haba. He coming in the name of the Ibis, Tahuti, the Ibis bird, who is the god of wisdom. The messenger of Ra, who is also the god of wisdom. 
talking about is the Egyptian god, the Ibis Tahuti. The word also signifies the messenger and coming, the returning one. This particular messenger is supposed to reincarnate over and over. The returning one, Elijah coming as the messenger who announces the prophecy of Abad. Superseded set, that means he came after Sut, the first blue black god, that was Bar or Baal, where you get Baal, in Egypt. The Elijah is portrayed as a great omnipotent, uh, appointed to Baal of Israel. So that whole prophecy in the last days, I before the Messiah, I bring you Elijah, which came about 60 years ago up to, and, and, and 1995 will be approximately 20 years after he died. So another sign from Elijah. Now, Eight means the West, the number four time. He rose up in the West, as well as other prophets. Noble Zhu Ali, not just a lot, Noble Zhu Ali, all of them came around the same time. In the mid, in the early 1900s, you had the crown and conquering child of Judah, Haile Selassie, you had all of them. You had uh, Marcus Garvey doing his thing, Big Daddy, um, 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 Daddy Grace, Father Divine, all of them at the same time. 60 years from that put you smack dab in the 1990s. Okay, check. Telling you what time it is. Also, the 12 means the new Egypt rising up in the West. Now, what does that mean? Let me go, we're gonna finish this page out, we're gonna take a break. You heard of the actual stuff in the Bible where it says you're gonna be afflicted in a land in bondage for 400 years and not your own. That's not talking about ancient Kemet, or ancient Egypt of that time, because we understand they didn't even have slavery as what we know it. Who built those temples and things was built? The first temple was built a hundred years before Abraham was even born. So how the hell can him and his people build the doggone cities in Kemet? That was built by highly scientific masters of the universe. And they don't know how old they are because they understand that even Khufu for forward to plagiarize those pyramids, they're older than that because the space is right there and we got carbon dating on the space, which is 90,000, um, um, 80,000 years old. The last time they carbon dated. And they say it's undated. And that's the, 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 line, the, the conquering line of Judah that I'm going to get into, which is the goddess segment. This is a line here that God is what I'm going to get into, which is going down. Now, that particular prophecy was talking about the lost children of Israel and actually in ancient Kemet it's called the lost sons of Ra. Ra is a blue black god in the actual Tahuti's material. In the Tahuti's material they got the actual prophecy. I got it right up here. There is, it is verbatim what the Bible was saying where the Bible copied this from. Where you have the god Imhotep who was the black who's the first father of Nessus. Well, you take the Hippocratic oath, they say, I play free, I bear witness to Asclepius. Asclepius is a Greek word for M-Hotel. Was a blue, black, big head scientist. One of them scientists. Who was the god of the, but he was a god. They said, why, how they worship him as a god? Because he had already risen to the level of godhood through going through the whole science of rising to God, which you can do. Because Christ is a, is a title. There's more than one Christ, okay? In the Tohuli material, he has, Tohuti comes to him. Who is Tohuti? Enoch, Elijah, sometimes Ezekiel. Elijah, Enoch, and John the Baptist would come to dog on Jesus Christ. You see the story reoccurring? How in the devil is this gonna happen one time and the story didn't happen over? We talk about actual science is more than actual historical figures. But those historical figures that we talk about is actually the black man and black woman. Tohuti comes to him and tell him. He said that the way Egypt is set up, or Kemet is set up, it reflects what is in heaven. The same buildings here is on, on Syria. The temples, the pyramids, the obelisks, called Syrian architecture. It is the abode of God on the planet, and it is the heaven on earth, which that whole region from Arabia on in was holy land. You got one of the first holy lands of Abydos in Kemet, where you got in the temple where they tell you that the dog on white man was created, archaeological evidence. 3,000 years old, it's the camel tamil who was created by the Egyptians in the West Africa. The tamil meaning the created white man. Now Kibbit, in here he comes to Hudi, which is the side to Hudi, which is the messenger of Ra, or the messenger of Allah. Allah means the all in all. Ra means the all in all. Quit tripping over all these doggone different, your religion is different than that. 
get out of, like I said before, get out of the religion and get into the science of what they talk about. It's actually science. You just got into a, a, do, a dogmatistic, what you would call a dogmatistic organized religion to keep you ignorant. It's actually science of the universe. And the white man knows it. That's why he's been ruling on this much of the science he got from you. Imagine what you can do with 360 degrees. What you think he'd do if he had 360 degrees, you can do. We like scrambled eggs. You never get him out of class. <laughs> now, he comes to him and tells him, but this a bold. Now, when they say Egypt or Kemet, they talking about Africa. They talking about the black nation, period. They're not just talking about Africa. Remember that one time, every, the whole world was one piece, and all black people was all over the world. That's why everywhere you go, there's black people. That's because it was the one landmass, and with the falling of Atlantis, with the falling of Atlantis, is where you got the continental drift, with the great explosion, which God took them down for, for creating that mutant one time before. I'm Elijah Hunter said, I'm talking about the mutant in this 26,000 year period. Every time you fall to a low point, we create a mutant to take you lower, so it's like a ball. You go down so low until we, you bounce up, you need to come higher than Egypt, and, and that's, you be higher than that. Never to fall again, because what we're doing now, we ain't never falling again. This is it. Now, now, check it out. He tells them, he says, but he goes to a time when the God's going to leave Africa, or leave Egypt, or translate, leave y'all black people. The spirits that dwell with you, you are God in the third dimension. You got God that's around you that's your people that's in the fourth dimension. They're going to leave, they're going to leave you behind and let you get a ass with He said, and then the weak man will be considered strong. He said, and the impious man, which is the, the liar and the cheat, and the evil man will be considered pious, and the pious man will be considered impious and evil. He said that the, the, the righteous man, he said, the evil man will be considered a god, and the righteous man will be treated as a common criminal. Check. That's why they locked up 65,000 black men in Atlanta alone. And this is the Bible, but we ain't talking about Chicago, New York, and all of them, L.A. We talking about here, where you don't actually see that much crime when you step outside. But in our area, 65,000 black people, 75,000 men in all, 65,000 of them black people. In the actual prophecies, he's telling them. He said, what used to be the abode of the gods and the tombs and the... And he said, in the, in the temples, there ain't going to be nothing but graveyards and tombs and mummies. Told him that. In the hotel started crying. He said, well, I want to know when we ever get out of this mess. right in the actual thing. I'm telling you what's going on. Now, this is the Egyptian version of the smaller version that they copied and put in the Bible. The prophecy of you being in bondage in Egypt. Bondage in Egypt is over here that they're talking about. Right. Not a historical Egypt. He said, will we ever get out of this mess? He said, yes, my yacht, which is valid to all the righteous and reciprocity, will be established, will be established once again. He said, well, where will it be established? He said, it will be, he said, this is his words. To who he said, an extremities of Kemet or Africa on a black land, not just one isolated area. The extremities of Kemet or Africa on a black people will rise up in the West. He said, well, who are these people and where are they now? He said, well, 4,000 years ago, he said, they now rest in the Libyan hills, which is translated as African hill, which means the people are now here on the planet. It's the same people that's in Kemet and in Africa that's ruling the earth. He said, they would have fallen and been taken across the Atlantic, hit in the head, and they would have to rise up again in the West. That's talking about you because you are in the belly of the people. And in masonry, the sun, and in nature, the sun starts in the east, rises in the east, and sets in the west. So goes time cycles, and so goes your life, because you are part of nature. You are not over here in the west, and you are dead in the west. Check? Yeah. Everybody with me? Yeah. So, the, that's the actual part. The 12 in the hand on his hand also means the, the 12 tribes of Israel, El. Is, is Isis. Ra is the god Ra, the sun, and El is God, which means El of God. You understand? So right there you got the Holy Trinity. You got Isis the mother, Ra the father, and El, which is God the sun, that's rising up. Israel! Right in the sand. We find out that El is Egyptian word.
word, which means God. Okay? Also, the 12 houses of the zodiac. The 12 houses of the zodiac, and also is called the word Beth, which being the sister, one of my spiritual mates looked up, came into this science. All this, all this happened this morning. We got all this science from the heavens telling me what to tell you. Beth means house. It also means zodiac, but it also, which is the house of the 12 signs, but it also means house as far as the spiritual abode on the planet. Beth means house. Ham comes from the ancient Egyptian word ham, which means black. Bethlehem means house of the black god. You see, Bethlehem, the 12, the, so, so the, the, the tribes of Israel in the house of spiritual abode is the house of the black god. Eight and twelve, eight, if you break it down, eight and twelve. So you, you break it down, you got an eight, you got a one, and you got a two. Eight, one, and two means eleven. Eleven is the abode of God, that actual spirit that I showed you on the tree of life, which is melon. And uh, uh, which is melon. You understand? And it also means death. Dark means death, but it means dark means death. Melody means death. Death to who? The white race who don't have the melody to survive in dark. Okay, which is that current, the AWAS current, which AWAS is the actual current, as well as the angel, which got the number 418, and the number 418 means the great work, and the number and the great work means melody. Check that out, 418. I said this in a lecture in November, in the, in the next, in that Friday, I said it on a Sunday, that Friday, 418 hit in the lobby. You know, hit in the lobby. Tell you, man, witness that this stuff is real. This AWAS current is on the planet now. It's the current of melody. Okay? A plus 12 means 20. 20 equals pa, pa, crotch. Paris on the horizon, or heaven on the horizon, which means going into the Christ figure, which is the order of what we are here today to discuss, the Christ figure. With that, we want you to take a simple break, go get some refreshments, how many minutes on the break? At, huh? How many minutes on the break? How many minutes on the break you want them to take? 20, 20 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> it's saying 10. 10. Yeah, 10 or 15. They can get what they want. You know. It's a refreshment. I want you to come back so we can go into the rise of this black God. Check? Yeah. All right. We're going to get real good now. How am I doing? Where is he at? Is he still in here? Kabir. You still here? Yes. Okay, good. But I wanted to do a little few things on that. Uh, number one, and let me get this, let me get my notes on it. Because uh, there's a few things I wanted to address. And put, give people some um, some inkling on what's getting ready, what's going on. Uh, now, if you're in the nation of Islam, then you got to deal with this brother, because this is what's going on. There's a brother by the name of um, Solomon that uh, supposedly is standing up now in the midst of 1994, and he uh, he's a brother that's um, said that he was trained through channeling through the, of the Master for Allah Muhammad in the 24 sciences. And the stuff that he's dropping on is, is pretty up there. You can basically tell. I checked out his lectures, and I can tell whether a brother's, you know, talking some stuff that's legit or somebody that's, you know, on the uh, political level. And what he is saying is he is supposed to be the predecessor to uh, uh, Minister Farrakhan. Um, uh, well, he said that um, Minister Farrakhan was supposed to teach from 1977 up to uh, uh, 90. Uh, hand it over. So, uh, what this brother's talking about? He said he's going after the 144,000. You can, um, he's, he's out of D.C., right? Yes. You can check out some of his stuff and all. Um, the brother is, uh, I, I checked the stuff out, and believe me, he was dealing with the sun and the moon and all of this. He's, he's right in it. He's right in there dealing with the subterranean world, the people up under the world, up under, uh, up under the, uh, in the planet instead of on top of the planet. So, which is bearing witness to my, some of my same teachings. 
So if he, if he did get it from the master of Rob Muhammad, he got some truth that is right. So you check out his brother and all because uh, you're going to hear more from him. Okay, so now let's get to this, uh, this part on this Messiah because I believe it's more than one. That is, supposedly, he is uh, one of the people that's supposed to be the person that's supposed to take the nation into a certain thing. And I don't know whether you have a big argument about that. Whole lot of stuff go down. You will see in the coming months, in the coming years, or the coming months, based on the way things are going. So, uh, uh, but um, I, there's other other rise of things that's going on to jumpstart our people's brains. So let me I'm going through some things. Number one, uh, as far as Kemet is concerned, we understand that if we trace one of the oldest books on the planet. And we trace the oldest book on the planet would be the book of coming forth by day that you know as the Egyptian book of the dead, which is, uh, we can trace it all the way back to at least a uh, minimum of 10,000 years. So, uh, which has the, has the prototype, prototype or the carbon copy of what you call the Bible, which, uh, which is actually borrowed from this. So now, you know the, the, the 47 negative confessions, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the laws of Maya, which is the Ten Commandments that Moses borrowed ten from. Also, you have the coming of the Messiah. Now, what you have a breakdown, you have a historical Jesus and a mythical Christ. Get the book Jeremiah, the historical Jesus, mythical Christ, one of the, one of the books who Jeremiah was also hooked into the brothers from the Interplanetary Brotherhood or the, the, the Council of Elders or the Black Rider or the Great White Brotherhood. He was hooked in is the reason why he was able to go into the British Museum and record things that other white people would turn their head because it was too black for him. He would um, um, uh, drop on the truth. When he talked about the little black Bambino that was worshipped in Rome, Mother and Bambino, which is a baby, which is the, the actual prototype of the, of the white Jesus when they turned him white in the whole nine yards. You have a historical Jesus and a mythical Christ. This was a small book taken out of a bigger book, Natural Genesis. This is the smaller book, you know, another book out of print. Uh, this was recently put out by a &B Books, which put out a lot of other out of print books, and we're glad they did that, by Gerald Massey. Now, the historical Jesus is Jeshua ben Pandera, which Jeshua means Jesus in Hebrew, and Ben is son of the Pandera with the panther skins that the priests used to wear in Kemet. He was one of those priests. You have a historical Jesus who became Christ, or became a Christ figure. Then you have the mythical Christ who once lived as a black man on the earth and will be the one that returned. Not the historical Jesus. The historical Jesus, we're talking about one that will return as the historical, the mythical Christ, the Christ figure. Christ means two things. It means one who receives the great work which means melanin, and those who are born with the great works, which is melanin. Christ not only just means an attainment of a spiritual level, but Christ also means a whole race of people. Since you being the original people on the earth, and at one time you were already in that God room before you fell deep into the third dimension, and your spiritual center shut down based on this third dimensional density, which is more physical. At one time your spiritual organs was, and, and, and chakras and all that centers was open, and you were all Christ. You see, you were the original Elohim that they talk about in the Bible, uh, uh, in religious. Uh, you were the gods, the netters. They're talking about you. You are the remnant of that race. You are that. Now, water. what is going on is you have a historical Jesus and a mythical Christ. Egyptology or chemotology came into existence around the time for us, around the ASCAT conference in 1984. Up to now, you started getting into finding out that Kemet was actually black again and re-tapping into your ancient origin of the Nile Valley. This is a reason, because one of the Christ figures, uh, one of the actual slayers, one that actually comes in and kicks ass, you would have to know some stuff on ancient Kemet because he is one that is coming back and he would be that God Heru, which is the Christ figure, which would actually come back and he would come back like in the book of Ecclesiastes in the Bible with the sword in his hand. He's called the crown and conquering child. Heru, avenger of his 
slave father, Osiris, god of the perfect black. Okay? You got into chemitology in this country is because when this particular force and phenomenon come back, you would have to be familiar with it. This is why you have learned over the last couple of years about the ancient Kemet gods or the Kemite gods, or what we call the Nettas. Okay. That is because the re-rise of this particular Christ figure is on the planet in many forms, but it will make itself known to you. Also hooked into that, we have all your other spiritual organizations who look for the Mahdi, who look for the Messiah, who look, all of that is on the planet as we talk at this particular time. Like I said, the lost tribe of Israel was originally the lost children of Ra. The lost children of Ra, Ra meaning a blue black God, you are those lost children. There's nobody is as lost as you are, okay? Now, let's get into some other science on what went on in Kemet. It came a time in Kemet, or uh, Egypt, or uh, Africa, where you had people that used to stay out partying all night. This was in ancient times. They started partying all night. They started saying, live for the day, forget about tomorrow, and forget about yesterday. You had these times in what you call cosmopolitan Kemet, or uh, Egypt, when they started letting in all types of foreigners into the infrastructure, and it started crumbling. At this time, a young boy grew up at this time by the name of Akhenat. Akhenat. He changed his name to Akhenat later on. He grew up at this time. His mother was Queen T. His mother came from Ethiopia. Queen T worshipped a god in Ethiopia. Remember now, all the gods are the same. But the Ethiopian rendition to that god was called Sut Nessie. Such Nessie is a blue-black god, one of the oldest gods in the world. Remember that all this is the same. The same lineage of the same god, but we understand that our stuff came from the south, as we never said, of the Nile Valley. Now let's look up Such Nessie. You can find it in a lot of Jeremiah's works also. Such Nessie. Now, Such meaning black. Nessie is a god of what they call the Negroes, which is a, but it's the god of the inner Africa. Actually, uh, Queen T was, she had a heavy influence on such, uh, on Akhenat that she taught him of this God. Nessie was the black Negro God of the earliest image. The black Christ, type of Sut, the first black, followed the Sabine period of Christian times, although the first known son of the mother. Such in his Latest medical manifestation is known as the son of the father. In his double type of the planet Saturn, which means black, you have the astrono astronomical, which is the greater universe, kind of part of Sut, is Sirius. The astrological part is Saturn. The L of the Hebrew is Sut. The planet Mercury, the messenger, is a form of set. Going up set of Sut, the first set type. There's two sets like a two atoms. Both symbolizes the divine sun. Set type, when you have two sets, you have Sut, the blue black god, the first primordial god of Kemet, and all the gods fashion itself. Then you have a second set type, who is the devil, which you get the cult of Satan comes from, and Satan, that's a red haired devil, which it says in that in the heretical part of the British Museum, British Museum, since we're talking about as above, so below. Set people are the miserable Asiatic at that time was all called Asia, at that, that particular part was Asia. We didn't have a, a Europe, a Caucasian, a Caucasus mountain. They say that the miserable Asiatics, and they tell you the miserable barbarians of the mountains were a set type of people, that second set. Just like you got two atoms, you got the Adam Chapman, which is the heavenly man, and you got the Adam, which is the animal man, which is 6,000 years ago, which they tell you your Bible comes from, 6,000 years ago. So you got two atoms. You got the second set who they tell you is the heretical uh, uh, papyrus of the British Museum is the barbarian, is the white man, which is Caucasus. Caucasus means dead. That part of Asia, dead Asians, Caucasians, you see, which uh, they actually have in the heretical, translated by Adam H. Garden in 1935. So the son of the primordial mother, the first immaculate conception, was the first type of, of the serious, the dog star. Afterwards, identified with many other gods and sons. 
Soot har, which is a form of har, is a hair root on the horizon. Now, har is soot. Soot means black, which is the age of replenishing the planet and regeneration. Okay, everybody with me? Now, that sphinx is now known, that, that line-headed segment is now known as the conquering line of Judah, if you rock the fire in, this is where it comes from, the conquering line of Judah, which the Hebrews actually coined and actually inherit, is the same space that sits in the middle of the earth, which is based on the number 19, because one is, 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 is the first number and nine is completion. The number 19, which means the black man re arises. Okay, well, I go on. The number 19 number breaks down with, the number 19 number breaks down, and Haramakis, which is Har is ahead on the horizon, breaks down with the number 418, which is the number of Awas, and which is the number of Melanin. So the Masons say that the Sphinx is called a black man buried in a shallow grave to sit in the middle of the earth. That means that the black man getting his stuff together and rising up a new nation. Crowned and conquering Lord of Judah, or the crown and conquering child of Heru, Horus, Heru, Avenger, which is talking about the reemergence of the black race, which is the mistress of the number 19, the sister Tidetta talks about in the nation of Islam, which is saying that Allah on the horizon, same formula that's going on here. Okay. Uh, at this time, you exist on two planes, like I said. Some of you in here are on other planes, and you are spiritual warriors that are supposed to take this world and bring this world into another new beginning. It's just that you have to go into the science of God to get to your holy guardian angel where you can re-tap into where you exist on other planes. This is what's going on. Some of you exist in other planes because remember, this is the body, but the soul, and then you've got the thought forms, and all this is, this is different planes. You know, so you are a manifestation of what you are on another plane. It's just that you are, you are the sleeping version of that. The mummified Osiris is dead in a mentor. Greatly to rise again as your child, as the child, Heru, or Harkar Crush, which means the child Osiris rising as Christ, which is a race of people. You all with me? Okay. Ra, you got two forms of this Christ rising. You got Ra Harkut which is a form of segment, and you got hard hard crux. I'll get into that in a few minutes. Now, what we have here, the Muslims say that the last prophet of Allah was the Holy Quran. It was up until 1904, which the extension was the book that was given and held by white people for 90 years. You didn't get the book, was nothing but an extension or annex or actually a reemergence of the ancient Egyptian book of the dead, the first recorded book on the planet. Because remember now, one time we was gods, we had it all up here. We didn't need books. We didn't need books. We had all the science up in here. The classic records was here. Then as we fell lower and lower into the third dimension, we needed to record all the things. This is when Kemet or Egypt came into play as a part to record history for the black man. And in order to get back to God, then you had to go back to the mystery system and rise up. But at one time when your chakras and all that was radiating at a level, you all were gods. Okay? The oldest recording book then would be the precursor of what everybody's talking about gave the last word in 1904. Up until that, the Holy Quran, which bears witness, which we'll go into, gave the last word in 1904. And it's a book called the Book of Law. The Book of Law is a book of melody. Get it? You won't know how to understand it. I'm gonna have to teach a class on how to break this thing down. It's a book of melody, what the book is. Saying that the black man is God and the white man gotta worship just to get it. This uh the book of law, this is an expensive copy, but you can get the book of law or, or the paperback copy for, for, for six bucks. We'll get the paperback copies for six dollars out of black media also. Now, it's for those of you who want to try to read it. But anyway, this is the this is the last book, and in this book, it talks about the black man rising, if you know how to decode it. It's just that I'm the only brother that decoded it, and now I'm saying it on the video, so you got it from the horse's mouth. And it says on the black man, the, the, the black man rising, and the black man number is 418, and 418 is the number of the great works, and the great works is called melody. So we talk about melody rising and black people rising.
And the book says, this book is dedicated to me, Alistair Crawley, who was a part of the secret society who had to get the time continuum for his race before it ran out and got it in 1904, before 1914. But if it's, if it's 10 years off the calendar, 1914 was 1904. Now, it says, this book was dedicated to me on April 8, 9, and 10 by A. Watts, the black angel, whose number is also 1904, uh, is, 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 excuse me, uh, 418, which is, he is a part of the Harlem Rising too. He's just the form that came to the different forms that's going on. He's the one that came to give the book, the blue black man that I talked about, tall, dark head. He gave the book by A. Watts, a being whose nature I do not fully understand, but describes himself as the minister of Hall Park Rocks, Lord of Silence, Heru, Heru Park Rocks. Horace on the horizon, black man on the horizon. He's the minister. A black angel saying the black man is about to rise again. Hey, Ruth. But we're giving you this book so you can save yourselves. Okay, now. It, uh, uh, okay, now. This book and this book, this is the second part of this book. This is the oldest book on the world. And we said this book is so old you can't even. Man, I got all these other things. I don't even want to even go by it. But what people don't know, and what most black people don't even know, this is the first time this is being mentioned in history, that the last prophet of this book came in this little red book, 21 pages, which get the $6 book. You might as well pay the lowest price of stuff that you can't understand. Take your time and try to decode it. I'll give a few classes on it. This book and this book, this is the last prophet talking about you, the black man, rising up. Okay, we'll get these books down in black media. Go there and find them. Now, this is the key. This also is the, the last book to be issued. It, did, it wasn't issued in the indigenous lands of the black people. It was issued, even though he had to go get it in Kemet in 1904, it was part of people in the West. Now, the West consists of not just America, but also Europe, too, is considered the West. When they say the Western way, the Western Technology. You understand what I'm saying? They talk about Europeans, which the feet of the West is the level of, is, the, is the heart of the beast. Which you know the White House is in Washington D.C. is nothing but a, a remake of Kemet. And the White and, 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 and the White House in Kemet was the Pharaoh where he lived was called the Double White House. You see, the Double White House was, was a part was a Pharaoh in Kemet used to live. So they mapped it all out, all Masonically uh, coded. So this is the other book. So now we're talking about. Actually, nine years ago, this book came. The time to be saying is up now, and now the prophecy in this book is to be fulfilled. Now, what's going on? Uh, he comes.